This video is being sponsored by EA. Special thanks for inviting me to this capture event. What is going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 23 tutorial here on my channel. Before kicking things off, make sure to smash the like button if you are enjoying the tutorial series, if you want to see more coming up. Until FIFA 23, boys, if you watch these videos, you're going to be prepared, you're going to have a head start. Today's video is about the deadliest pass in FIFA 23. And until now, from what I've tested, the R1 plus L1 and triangle pass is an absolute, absolute insane, insane way to pass uh, along the pitch and to create chances. Why is this pass so important? First of all, it is fast. It doesn't give time to the opponent to prepare. He's not ready for the next, next step. It is very accurate and it has a low trajectory. It gets from A point to B point super fast and super, super accurate. Let's see exactly how to perform this pass and afterwards we are going to see the perfect angles and scenarios uh, to use to get the most out of this deadly pass. All you have to do is press and hold R1 plus L1 on your PlayStation controller or LB plus RB on your Xbox One controller and press the triangle button. This will trigger this superb fast, actually low fast pass because the ball would still be traveling over the ground at a certain height but it will be very very fast and very powerful. It will not have a big curve and a big wait time until the receiver gets it. Let's jump into our first example and in my opinion this is kind of the most OP angle from where you have to use the R1 L1 pass from the wing to the striker extremely extremely good to use but here it is very very important to watch the angle of the assister of the player that is doing the pass he must have this angle exactly like here comparing with the uh, with the teammate for the pass to be extremely accurate it is very interesting because at times the defender will glitch and your player will have the first touch and he will be able to get past the defender with his uh, get in a one-on-one -on -one situation and score a goal example number two from a central position use it exactly when your striker is almost in line with the defender again the angle of your player that is giving the pass is very important like in this uh, example and regarding the pass two three bars at most depending on how far you are from your teammate another great way to use this pass is as a short chip inside or close to the penalty box. It gives the advantage of the first touch to your player. Your player will, in many cases, get the first touch in front of the defender and get into a nice, nice position, very dangerous to the opponent and even in a one-on-one -on -one from where he can score a goal. Now, FIFA 23 is in certain ways similar FIFA 22 and changing sides is extremely extremely important because it unbalances the opponent's defense and this is why using the R1 L1 pass from one side to another is something that you need to add to your attacking arsenal it will be very accurate uh, the pass will go in a future position of the receiver and it will put him in a position from where he can do a triangle with the teammates over there. He has superiority on the other side. That's the most important thing when changing sides with this pass. So, fellas, there you have it. In my opinion, the deadliest pass in FIFA 23. Drop a comment below. Let me know what other tutorials you would love to see next. My name is Ovi and I'll see you, fellas, in the next videos. Bye-bye.